You're in the mix. SKM presents Strictly for the Music Podcast. You are now live with the number one podcast for all upcoming artists worldwide. It's the real. The real deal. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode. This is Strictly for the Music Podcast. I'm your host. You already know. My next guest I got live in direct was born and raised in Northern Arizona. 22 years old, his favorite instrument is the drums. Started doing music 10 years ago. Three albums out, Don't Mind Me, Bad As In Good, Phase One. With no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest, Trey. Oh, that was popping, bro. Yo, man, uh. I'm <laughs> right now. All right, man. So uh, let's get into this interview, man. Uh, describe your music from the beginning, man. And what inspired you to start making music? Uh, man, just like listening to other artists, man. Like, you know, other artists. And how I started off from was um, when I was a kid. Uh, well, I'm not Christian, but my um, my grandparents were kind of Christian, and they'll go to church, and I used to like listen. But at the time, uh, I didn't know what music was and they took me there well what over here is different like where i'm from it's not like in the building it's like they set up a tent that's what they do over here <clears throat> so yeah and so i'll look on the stage and i see the drums man like that i like how it sounds and how they were hitting that thing <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, man. Hell yeah all right man so let me ask you this man what was it like growing up man uh yeah let me think back um you know it's just like struggle i grew up poor not gonna lie about that i grew up poor and <clears throat> got me to where i am right now I'm successful and uh that's a lot of struggle i'm from the uh reservation so yeah it's a lot of struggle and and so i and that brought me to music too, as well, like to um, express and express w- the way I live around here and a b- bunch of uh, stories and all that stuff. That's dope, yeah. man. That's dope. Hey, man, uh, is this your first time doing an interview, man? Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, it's all good, dog. I know uh, I probably have a little bit more experience in this, but to me, it's like the first time doing an interview, dog. So I feel what you're going through. But uh, yeah. besides that, man, um, man, let me ask you this. Uh, so you were about twelve years old when you started doing music. Uh, yeah, around there. Yeah, well, dope, it, it, man. It, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. Though. Yeah, man. All right, man. So my next question, man. Uh, what makes you different from other artists, man? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not compete with anybody i just um, do my own thing and you know just do my own thing or how i express like i said like how i express the life over here and what i'm going through and i'm like i'm not the type of artist that could be relatable you know that's dope <clears throat> yeah yeah man know, all right I'm... yeah go ahead my bad i'm sorry no nah, go ahead yeah go ahead. man um uh, your music man uh when i first played it man uh I don't know. It might have been a diss track, man. To tell you the truth, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mention nothing. But uh, anyways, man. When I heard your flow, man, I was like, damn, who's this cat, man? You know what I mean? So I went to your page, man, and I seen that you're a, a upcoming artist, man. So I was like, man, I'm gonna try to see if I can get him on the show. So I appreciate you coming and taking this opportunity to uh, hey, let the world know no about what you got going on, man. Damn here, All right, hey. man. So. Go ahead. So, all right. So, what track are you talking about? Um, I'm not sure. It was like in uh, it was in a band called Native Hip Hop. Oh, all right, all right. I see. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not gonna uh, discuss with that artist because you know, it's just cloud chasing. That's what. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, dog. Don't 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 even do that. Yeah, I got you, homie. Um, anyway, yeah. so dog, that's how I found you. In a band called Native Hip Hop, uh, can you describe the band and let everyone know that it's not affiliated with Band Lab? Let them know what these bands are inside the uh, app. To do with Native American, uh, Native American uh, hip hop, 
I just thought that to, to be um, to include uh, like I want to involve other native hip hop um, throughout from west from east to west and you no know, just like just a small little group right there and I just want to like help other artists and yeah just help other artists and I see some other native rappers um want to join so I invite them and I introduce them everybody and including myself and yeah like you know just help one another and not just native rappers everybody that's what I do with every race and I show love to every race and I just keep it equal <clears throat> so yeah that's I never um I hardly I wanted I did that because I hardly collab uh, with other native artists like I mostly collab with different races so yeah that's dope man that's, uh, so that's why I did that <laughs> That's dope, okay. man. I love that, man. I love the fact that, you know what, you're bringing uh, all of them in one place, man, and that's amazing yeah. to see, man. So, uh, besides that, man, um, Native Hip Hop is your band, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, that's yeah. dope. All right, man. So, uh, how many bands are you affiliated on Bandland? Uh, I, um, I have I own two bands, but um, other artists on the vibe to other bands. Um, I use a second, you know, just to um be on the side. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. All right, man. So uh, let's lead on to your first album, man. Don't mind me, man. How did this project come upon, and what were you going through at the time uh, of making this project? You know, I got, I get a lot of uh, hate message and um, a lot of, um, they trying to put like naked, uh, a lot of haters trying to put their negative energy on me. Uh -huh. So, so I named that, um, don't mind me, let me do my thing, you do you, you know, shit like that. <laughs> dope. Dope, yeah. Man. That's why like I only has 14 tracks. That's why I only has, has 14, I say it's 13, but uh, I re actually didn't remove one, so. Yeah, it has 14 tracks on it. So, man. All right, man. So, um, let me ask you this, man. Uh, don't mind me, man. Um, was this was this a message to the haters? And uh, yeah. was it inspired by the haters? Yeah, they they motivate me, man. Like they motivate me because they made me feel good. Like they because I see in them like, oh, this guy, uh, this guy has it. Let me try to put him down. I don't want this guy to go up. That's right. how I see it. Yeah. Right. That's dope, man. That's dope that you me. have. Yeah. 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 What were you saying? That's dope that you have that mindset, man. Because I'm gonna be real, man. A lot of artists don't have the mindset as you, man. Other artists get that hate and immediately they want to quit, and you know what I mean. But you got the opposite mindset, man. You actually love hearing this, and it motivates you, makes you make more music, man. Yeah, I took that. I took that way back in when I was in middle school. Yeah, and I got, I ran through like I said. Uh, I ran through uh, a lot of fake people, friend, friends switch on me. So that's why I brought music to express that, and you know, like I'm gonna achieve more. And now I look back, I see them. You know living that low life but no disrespect though but that's what they get like because i've been bullied before and that person i see that person you know down there and i was like so that i came across too and i don't mind me i'm gonna do me so, 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 so. yeah all right man so let's go off to the first collab off the album man straight killing oh uh, yeah that was all uh, that was the other artist, uh, EX3. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what but I don't want to like to uh, see what's popping because uh, one of the homies asked what he was doing, so so I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, but yeah, we're not talking. Yeah, man. Uh, was was that under your band, Homemade Music? Yeah, Homemade Music. I started that way. Back in 2016. Damn, man. I was in the group. Yeah. So you started doing this when you were young, man. Um, what do you 
Tracy were like the biggest struggles from back then till right now, man, that you look back on? I look back when I was back in 2016 at a group and they came up with homemade music. I mean, we did. We were discussing it and then I still look back on that and we went to um, do some few collabs and other um, group albums, but I have that unreleased right now for a long time. So, and so, yeah, I look back on it that I keep thinking back because I'm pretty sure they do too, but we hardly talking right now as well. They're doing their own thing. Like I said, you know, like things change. So I'm still doing with, I'm still doing the music thing. So I'm still rocking with homemade music since 2016. I'm the only one. So it was like, there was like one, me, uh, five or six other guys in it. Yeah. That's dope, man. So, uh, man, um, you got a lot of uh, collaborations on this album, man. Um, will you just like uh, run down with all these artists that you collabed on this album, and how did you get involved with them and contacted with them, man? Uh, they they got in contact with me through this beef, and now nah, I think when I think back to it, like that was stupid. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I met them from this person beef with that other person and that person sort of beef befriend me because I was um, standing up to the other person. So yeah, that's how I got it. And then that's when I made the album Don't Buy Me. So we had a bunch of collaboration on it talking about hey, it is like, you know, like keep to yourself, like do you like do your own thing. Yeah, that's how I that's how I got in a collaboration with them. That's dope, man. Yeah. All right, man. Um, so, all right. So, all the artists that's been uh, featured on your album, man, was through beefs or previous beefs that you were going through. And they were seeing you standing up to them and you weren't backing down on anything. So, did that give you more motivation, man? Yeah, definitely. Yes. That's why I'm still here. They're still doing it. That's dope. That's dope, man. All right, man. So, uh, man, what was one of the uh, first tracks on the... Um, I know the expression was an intro, man, but uh, would you say that uh, Don't Mind Me was a single off the album? The intro? No, the uh, second uh, track down from Don't Mind Me, uh, it's uh, titled Don't Mind Me. Yeah, the same, yes. same thing. Same okay. thing with the 80s. All right, man. All right, man. So, uh, man, let me ask you this, man. Could we expect any music videos? And if you do have any music videos, do you have a YouTube channel that the audience out there that's listening to this right now can go find and uh, uh, play your uh, music, man? Yeah, uh, trade the name. Like, yeah, trade the name. So that's on YouTube? Yeah. All right, man. So, uh, man, don't mind me. Uh, you're coming out strong on this uh, album, man. Uh, like you said, 14 tracks on it. So, uh, how long did it take you to make this project, man? That I do not remember. I just, I was just focused on the music. <laughs> I don't, I don't really, I'm not really sure about that. All right, man. Dope. Bad as in good, man. Bad as in good is your second album, man. And this was released on May 14th. So you dropped an album and then you dropped another one back to back, man. Uh, was that something planned or it just happened? Uh, it just happened. Bad as in good. Yeah. Um, what what is based off is like where I'm from, what's happening, and family, uh, relatives and all these um stuff that's going on, like all these bad stuff. Um maybe maybe just doing that just to like you know for me to keep away from all uh, fake stuff. Um you know, fake you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So I see the bad eyes and good. That's so dope, man. So I'm I'm thinking like God is keeping me away from the you know, like I say, uh 
bad people. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, so let me ask you this, man. Uh, don't mind me. Was bad as in good, like a part two to your first album? Uh, somewhat. Part of it was like some of it was the haters. Some of it was like relatives. So yeah. Uh, uh, so you're a hey, bro. Uh, your own family uh started criticizing you doing music, man. Um, no, nah, no, nah, not really. Or just uh just family members wasn't uh agreeing with what you're doing or or what was one of the uh, tracks that uh, be like they're kind of they're kind of like supporting me at the same time. And there's this thing that I don't want to mention because it's uh, religious, um, so I can't mention that. So yeah, man, I'll give you that it's evil, evil thoughts they put against one another, one another. Yeah. Damn. All right, man. So, uh, so that, my second last track, I talk about it in the second verse. Yeah. Oh, family. That's family, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. All right, man. Um, we're gonna have to get into that. Oh uh, man. Um, this uh, this this whole project, man. Um, I mean, man, it's like to me, it was like you dropped one for the haters, and then you came back with another one like a month right after, man. Was that a uh, build motiva- motivation from the previous album that you dropped, man? You just said, let's do another one. Um, oh, no, 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 um, Don't Mind Me came out last year, um, mid last year. That time, they didn't have the, um, band, like, they didn't have the, uh, album post. Uh-huh. All, we do, all we gotta do is do, like, a playlist. So, yeah. all right, let me add this one on the album instead of a playlist, because the band, like, only have playlists. They, they didn't have that feature where you could put in the album. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, I was working with Badass and Good last year. So so I had time to, um, when I got finished, I don't know, when I was almost finished, I had time to post on my me into the album feature. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Dope, man, dope. Um, Man, is there any uh, song that inspires you the most on the album? Um, uh, which one? Uh, bad isn't good. Uh, family, yeah, family. family. Dope. All right, man. Um, so can the audience expect any music videos on this uh on this album? Uh, no, that's no, no. Right. Oh, I did a uh, no, 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 never mind. No, I don't think so. So, will there be any uh, future videos in the in the future, man? Um, that I'm not sure. All right. I I don't have that plan yet. Okay. All right, man. Um, yeah, man. You seem you got a lot of content, man. You you uh, I mean, man. Last year you came hard with two albums, man. Uh, and then we'll get into the last album, but we're gonna save that for later, man. Um. Let me ask you this, man. Have you ever performed any uh, shows, open mics, anything of that nature? Um, I'm not going to say big. A big one, a small one. Like, yeah, in high school. That's dope, man. So let me ask you this. Uh, what was the feeling when you first got on stage, man? Yeah, I was stage fright. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I was, I was stage fright. So uh, we're... Did you just uh, rehearse one of your songs, or, or? No, one? I made, I made one. Um, I just made one the day before it was happening, so it was a quick one. Wow, wow! Yeah. So you, so you actually made a song right before you were supposed to uh, do this show, man. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Um. I don't know. If I could do that. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, hey, man. Yeah. Hey. Big props to you, though, man, for doing it, man. So let me ask you this, man. Um, Have you ever been on Instagram Live, YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and sang or rehearsed any of your songs on live in front of uh, 
uh, your audience on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook? No, not yet. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so soon. All right, um, all right, man. So, uh, so you don't got you don't got no Instagram, Facebook, or uh, any of the YouTube, so everyone can go, uh, you know, follow you and see what you got up to date. Yeah, um, I got an Instagram. Uh, same thing. Uh, Trey underscore the underscore name. All right, Trey the name. All right, man. So, man, uh. Right now, man, do you have any future collabs that you're working on or you have in the works, man? Um, future collabs? No, not right now. I I just uh, finished two right now. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, um, not collabs, two tracks. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. So let me ask you this, man. If you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Mm. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. Name as many as you want, man. This your show, man. Um, let me see. Uh, Logic. Uh, he inspired me to uh, Logic. Um, Kindred. Drake, Wayne, along down the road, you know, yeah, this is a tough <laughs> That's dope, man, that's dope. All right, man, so let me ask you this. Do you have any advice for the uh, younger generation? Uh, up, keep, man. You know, for those, uh, just like, like me, I started out small, like recording off a phone and you just got to keep doing your thing and you'll get to where you want to be. And, you know, just keep, keep, uh, uh, keep doing your thing and you'll succeed. And yeah. All right, man. There you That's go. All I'm Dope, man. All right. So, uh, is there any specific audience or anyone you're trying to touch with your music out there, man? Um, can you repeat that again? Dope, man. Oh, uh, oh you, want, you want me to repeat it? Yeah. All right, is there any uh, audience specifically you're trying to target, man? Like, I know you said that you're making it for yourself, man, but you said that you're relatable, man. Or is, is this music for the people that's up and coming like you and that are, you know, maybe live on a reservation and trying to uh, rise up above that? Yeah, people are coming up and people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you answer my um. That's you. <laughs> that's why. That's why. I, um. That's how I say this. Yes, for the upcoming artists, that like, you just keep doing. And my uh, and I want to like blow up from. I'm from Arizona, so I want to blow. Like I'm not my dreams to blow up from here. That's dope. That's dope, man. Um. All right, man. Do you have any? <laughs> favorite lyrics in, in a song that you wrote, man? Or do you, I mean, do you even write your music, or is it all freestyle? Yeah, I write. Yeah, I write. Is there any favorite bars that you have memorized that just stuck with you, man? Um, let me see. I know one of them, um, let me try to remember. There's a lot. Um, I'm trying to remember what I said. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't hey, bro, I know I put you on the spot, man. My bad, dog. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm trying to, it's, um, something to do with uh, something, like I said, uh, some of the evil, evil stuff. Like, how can I explain it? I forgot what it said. All right, man. Um, 
All right, man. So you said growing up, your dad used to play hip hop, man. Um, and he played a little bit of rock, man. So my next question is gonna be, man. Uh, could we expect you of going t- out of your genre and exploring another like rock? Uh-huh. Um, so, yeah, I started, I started zooming out to rock and hip-hop all because of my dad when I was a little kid. So, yeah, I got into, uh, I got, I got a lot, I mean, I got interested in hip-hop and started picking up from there. That's dope, and I started, and I study hip-hop and realized what it is and, and I found how I use mute hip hop to express myself. Dope, man. All right, man. So let me ask you this: If you weren't doing music right now, man, and you weren't doing music ten years ago, what would you be doing? Um, you know, just working, just working. Maybe uh, do some, uh, you know, be a YouTuber or something. Dope. Oh, YouTuber, hell yeah. That's what I'm doing right now, man. I'm just, you know, first I started off on Anchor, man, and I built this podcast, and now I'm barely taking it to another level. So, yeah, man, that's dope, man. I'm glad that you took the time to come on this podcast, man, because you know what, man? You're going to be the first one that I interview from Northern Arizona, man. That's dope, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, man. So let me ask you this: What are your goals for the last six months of 2021? Do you have anything that you want to get out? Do you have anything that uh that you got planned that you want to let the people know about? I'm working on another another project right now, coming out January 1st. Wow, man, you yeah. just flooded the game, man, and that's dope to hear, man. So um. What was the best advice you have been given since you've been doing this journey with music, man? Um, they told me, um, just keep doing your thing. And as you ride along the road, you'll pick up some. And that's what I've been doing, just, just going down the road and see where it gets me. I'm, I'm lost. Like, I'm going through, like, a... Um, like a lonely road and I'm just going over hills and I'm just learning, learning new stuff as I, as, um, the long, as I go, like how far I can go with this. And so, yeah, it's like picking up some stuff so to keep doing my thing. And I learned a lot and I, and with music, I made some couple of friends with that and started collaborating with other artists and that 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 amazed me like I like it took so long for me to like put my music out there. <laughs> that's um that that's um big to me that I um how can I say it? Achieve, I think. Dope. <laughs> Dope, man. Okay, man. Um, let me ask you this, man. How did you even discover Band Lab, man? Um, I was just exploring through apps, and I found it back in uh, 2017. Dope, man. <laughs> Do you remember your first track you recorded off uh, Band Lab? Uh, I don't remember that. I just, I was just throwing some like, that was like, it was like long time ago. Yeah, I know, 2017, man. Four years, man, four years you've been, uh, steadily on the grind, man, putting in that work, man. Um, all right, man, so, uh, so the last album, man, phase, uh, phase one, man. Let us know about what we can expect on this project, who's on the project, and how long did it take you to uh, make this album uh, come to life, man? Um, I put a lot of artists that I um, that I um, 
that I like and how they flow, so I put them on the project. And so it's phase one because back to the other project, haters, because haters like try to like bring me down. So like they say, oh, you you ain't this, you ain't that. So I'm just saying, all right, let me step up the game, and that's what I did. Posting up, uh, switching up the levels a little bit to show to, to show them what Trey is. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, man. Um. So nightmares. You have a collab with Chapa, BM, ABM. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, yeah. I asked him to hop on it because he had that kind of flow to hop on those kind of that type of beat. I was like. I asked him if he wanted to hop on there. He said, he just let me just like send it through. Like, he just text me back, say, send it through. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. And I sent it to him. Then he, then he, um, he sent it back. And I was like, oh, shoot. So, so I had, so when I, then I, I wasn't writing. So when he sent it back, I started writing. I was just going off of his energy. So I did the last part. That's dope, man. That's dope that you bring a lot of artists on your on, on your projects, man, and you give them that exposure, man. Um, yeah, is is there just, any albums out there that you're featured on that's not yours? Um, I've been on two with my with my boy uh, TGF. That was a uh, that was like last year, I think. And this year was um my boy Hayden. On his um on his album on his Dulex, he asked me if I wanted to be on there. So okay, I sent it through, cause because I asked him on my last album, Phase One, I mean latest album, I asked him if he wants to be on there, and he said yeah. So I I returned a favor to be on his. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope, man. Um, man. Uh, so uh, besides that, man. Uh, yeah. With, besides you being on other projects, man, and you've got this project that just uh came upon in April, man, at the end of it, um, man, it seems like you're going good. You got a good momentum going, man. The haters are doing their job by motivating you. That's what we want to hear, man. And I'm glad you came yeah. on this podcast and told your story, man, you know. Uh, besides that, man, um, do you got do do you got anything that you want to mention that I didn't uh, mention earlier, or do you want to just talk about something specifically? No, no, I'm good. You good? All right, man. All right, man. So, do uh, you got any special shout outs you want to give, man? What was that? You want you got any special shout outs you want to give? Yeah, shout out to Navajo Nation, nine two eight. Shout out to TGF. Shout out to Hayden. Shout out to Teddy. <laughs> Dope. Yeah. All right, man. So my last question, man, from here on out, man. How as an artist or uh, as just as who you are, man, how are you going to evolve into this music, man? Or do you think you already are? My vision? Evolve, man. Like, how are you going to uh, evolve in this music, man? Like, do you think that uh, just something that you need to work on or is there anything else that you have in mind that you're probably lacking in? Um, what I'm lacking is that sometimes I get writer's block, and that's a thing that frustrates me. <clears throat> yeah, man. yeah, everything else is good. It's good. Everything else. Stop, man. So you got a project coming out uh, January 1st, man. I know everyone's probably going to be expecting some bangers, but uh, besides that, man, uh, music videos, can we expect music videos on the next project? Yes. Yes, I want to. Definitely, man. All right, man. All right, man. So go ahead and plug in all your social media outlets. Let everyone know where they can find you so they can stream your music, man. Uh, man, I have Trey underscore the underscore name, Instagram. Trey underscore, the underscore, name, my YouTube channel, Trey the name, that's it. All right, 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, Trey. You already know time it is strictly for the music podcast, and we're gone.